Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are playing X Defiant and you are struggling with lag or there are stutters or you have low FPS then we have got a list of fixes that you can try and it will surely improve your gaming experience. So let's begin with the fixes. The first thing you should do is you should download the ISLC software. It's from the makers of DDU and it's a very trustable software. I'll drop a link to the website in the video description so you can download this software. Once you install this software, run the software. What this software does is it clears the memory standby or the RAM cache. So after installing this software, keep the default settings and click on start. Once you have started, it will clear the RAM cache. Each time you launch the game, you can simply click on purge standby list and it will purge the cache. This will greatly improve your gaming and performance and boost the FPS. So once this is done, we can try the next solution which is to disable power throttling. <coughs> this is for people who have laptop. Those people who have laptop, they, they, could, they will see a battery icon over here. Simply click on the battery icon and go into the battery settings and set it to best performance. This will also improve the FPS as well as reduce the stuttering. Then the next fix you can try is to disable the game bar and turn on the game mode. For this, press Windows key plus I and go into settings. Now go into gaming. Now over here you have the game bar. Click on it and toggle it off. Now go back and go into game mode and then toggle on the game mode. So the next fix is to turn on hardware accelerated videos scheduling and to optimize for windowed games and choose high performance GPU. For this again go into gaming then either on game bar or game mode then click on graphics then click on browse now go to the xdefined install folder and select the xdefined executable and click add once it's added click over here go to options and then select high performance GPU and then save once this is done then click on change default settings go over here and toggle on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and then optimize optimizations for windowed games turn both of these on and you'll need to reboot the city settings for the changes to take effect do this once you have rebooted the PC then try the next fix which is to adjust the appearance and performance and as well as increase the virtual memory. For this in the windows search type view advanced system settings and open it. Now under advanced you have performance go into the performance settings then under visual effect set it to adjust for best performance and then check smooth edges for full screen fronts and show windowed content while dragging. This will make the OS appear better while still disabling most of the things to boost the FPS and performance of the game. Click on apply and then go into the advanced tab. Now under virtual memory click on change. Now uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives and check custom size. Now the initial size should be 16, uh, 1.5 times your RAM. So you can use the calculator to calculate your RAM, total RAM in MB or just use Google for this. So convert GB to MB, open any of the sites and then type your RAM 16. So we have the value 16 this. Now open your calculator. So this is the total RAM in MB. Now let's do it 1.5 times. 
So, this is the initial value set the initial value now the max maximum value should be 3 times the total ram so let's set the maximum value into 3 so this is the value for max ram click on set click on ok you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect click on apply ok ok restart later so once this fix is done then the next fix you can try is to change the compatibility settings for this you need to open the install folder of the game you can simply click over here then go into properties then in downloads and then open folder over here you have the game executable so click over here go to properties then go into the compatibility tab check disable full screen optimization and check run this program as an administrator now click on change high dpi settings click over here override high dpi settings click ok apply ok once this is done then the next fix is to enable clean boot to enable clean boot press windows key plus r and type ms config this will bring up the system configuration go into the services tab click on hide on microsoft services and click disable all now click apply now go to the startup tab and click open device manager once device manager opens up then in the startup tab disable everything that you don't want try to disable almost everything so that when your you know pc, PC boots up it's uh, no third party applications are running and there is the it frees up more resources so one by one disable everything and once everything is disabled reboot your pc and check if the game works and you have you experience better fps so the next fix is to change the settings of the game so i have two different sections for this for high end pc as well as for the low end pc let me show you for the high end pc these are the best settings for high end pc for best performance fps and for reduced lag so let's go into settings then video and graphics set the display mode to full screen display resolution should be your native refresh rate should be your native display monitor the one you are currently using or intending to play the game on triple buffering should be off reduced latency should be on nvidia reflex low latency set it to on set the brightness to 15 contrast to 15 turn on dx12 render turn hdr off for graphics quality set it to custom then turn off vsync set the frame limit to on and set it to your monitor's resolution so mine is mine monitor resolution it supports 144 hertz so i have set it to 144 similarly set it to whatever your monitor supports then for shadow quality set it to medium spot shadow medium spot shadow resolution set it to medium contact shadow all low resolution scale set it to 100 percent for sharpening set it to 8 particle details should be high volumetric fog should be medium global reflection quality global reflection quality should be medium local reflection quality should be medium vegetation quality set it to low then subsurface scattering switch it on ambient occlusion set it to high object detail set it to 100 then extra streaming dis distance set it to 5 lens flare set it off water quality set it to medium then chromatic abbreviation set it off terrain quality set it to high save the changes and these are the best settings you can play game on and you will have the least latency and lag as well as a good fps and no structuring thank you now let's go ahead with the settings for low end pcs 
So for the low end PCs, here are the best settings. Let's go into settings, video and graphics, set the display mode to full screen, then choose your native resolution or this one, then set the refresh rate to your native display monitor to the one you intend to play the game on, triple buffering set it to off, reduced latency set it to on, reflex low quality set it to on, brightness set it to 15, contrast set it to 15 and turn on DirectX 12 renderer, turn off HDR, graphics quality set it to custom, then turn off vSync, then set the frame limit on and set it to your native resolu resolution your native resolution that the monitor supports or something lower than that. Shadow quality set it to low, spot shadow low, spot shadow resolution set it to low, contact shadow turn it off, resolution scale set it to 85 percent, sharpening set it to 8, particle details to low, volumetric fog to low, global reflection quality to low, L local reflection quality to low, vege vegetation quality to low then subsurface scattering set it on, ambient occlusion set it to low, then object detail set it to 49 or set it to 50, extra streaming device set it to 5, lens flare set it off, water quality set it low and chromatic evolution turn it off, then terrain quality set it to medium. Save these changes. For the next fix, you need to create a registry backup or a system restore point. The next fix is that we have created a custom FPS and lag pack that changes the registry values. You can simply download the pack and install them. But before you do that, create a registry backup or create a system restore point. So in case anything goes wrong or you want to revert back to your previous settings, you can do that. To create a registry backup, press Windows key plus R and type R E G E D I T, reg edit and hit enter. It will open up the registry for you. Now go to file, now go to file and click on export. Now you can simply name it and save the registry file or you can simply create a system restore point which is much quicker and acts the same way. Uh, in the windows search type create create a restore point open it then go over here select your operating system drive and then click on create name it and click create this will create a restore point that you can restore with once a restore point is created then and you wish to restore it then again in the windows search click create a restore point create a restore point go over here then click system restore then over here you have the options click on choose a different restore point click on next then choose the restore point and proceed through the steps to restore your registry as well as the entire system to the point before you made the changes. So with that done, let me share you our custom pack. For our custom pack, I'll drop the link in the video description. Go to our discord and over here you have the file, simply cl click over here and you can download this custom FPS and lag pack which appears like this and simply once you have downloaded this pack, simply double click on them, click yes click yes and that's it the registry is done and do this for all of this and that's all i hope the video helped if it did please like and subscribe thank you